before I get started with today's video, I wanted to remind you of a couple of things. Next weekend, next Saturday, is your November, November Q&A. So if you have a question that you would like to submit to the Arcturians to be channeled, uh, please submit that question to the Unravel Collective at gmail.com. And uh, I will be selecting five questions to channel next Saturday. I actually uh, do the filming on Friday, so be sure to get that question in before Friday morning. Another thing that I want to remind you of is that I am offering Arcturian Quick Councils now. So you can go to my website and book an Arcturian Quick Council, which is submitting a question and I then channel that for you in my own time. I record the audio of your channeling and then I email that to you. So if you would like to book an Arcturian Quick Council, just go to my website and um, you will definitely get your question answered that way. So thank you very much for being here today. And now I, I'm going to uh, go ahead and share with you the rest of this video that I filmed before I realized I wanted to remind you of this. All right, see you there. So you may have noticed that I didn't release a video on Saturday, and that is because I have been having a very emotional and difficult time um, with world events, witnessing what's occurring on the planet at this time, and Saturday was a difficult morning for me. And it's really hard for me to even say that considering what other people are literally currently experiencing right now. For me to say I had a difficult morning seems not right to say. But I didn't release a video uh, basically because I was so drained. I had a really big emotional release on a walk that I had uh, that morning. I have been sad and um, a bit unmotivated. Went on a walk, forced myself to go on a walk. A deer stepped out into the path right in front of me and just really locked eyes with me, which I thought was really beautiful. It happens often on, on these walks where I walk, but this one just almost gave me permission to like break down <laughs> because that's what happened. I saw the beauty within that deer's eyes and I immediately just saw the beauty of all people everywhere, children, adults, all religion, all places, regions, and how beautiful we are. It just brought so much grief to me that we continue to create suffering for ourselves and for others on this planet. In, in such horrendous ways but what really got me was the beauty the beauty of who we are truly who we are and I just fell and started crying and sat there in the middle of the woods crying for some time when I was done I placed my hand on the earth and said a prayer and visualized that frequency expanding throughout the entire earth, taking that message through the roots of the trees all the way around the earth, which then today has um, inspired me to ask the Arcturians to do a prayer for us today. So that's what I filmed today. Uh, I'm sorry that it's coming out late. Today is Tuesday. It's Halloween. So here's a prayer channeled um, from the Arcturians that I hope brings some peace to your heart today. In this moment we ask you to close your eyes. And as you begin to close your eyes, feel yourself sink into your seat. anchoring here into the earth that so lovingly holds you.
taking a deep breath and allowing that breath to sink. Sink. Bringing the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Beginning to feel and sense the energy within your body, the aliveness that it holds there. Motion of the energy within you that is constant. That without your effort is always caring for you. Loving you, protecting you. Relaxing the jaw and the eyes. Softening the heart area, the heart space. Softening the shoulders. And the tension that is being held there as we witness things occurring in the world Notice the tension in the jaw. The tension in your solar plexus. Soften these areas. Now we ask that you bring attention to your third eye. Taking a deep breath here. To soften the gaze of the third eye. Soften the tension here. For many of you, what you witness here is in a bit of conflict. For many of you hold the vision of what New Earth feels like, looks like, and yet this is not aligned with what we are seeing in our reality. And so we ask you to simply bring love and presence here. Knowing that the seed of our vision can be watered, can be given life to present itself here in our reality. Being patient with ourselves and others. Bringing softness to the heart as we may feel grief, frustration, anger, Tired. And 
that should you feel collapse here in these emotions that you allow yourself to fall if there is grief here feel your grief if there is rage here feel your rage these are not emotions to dismiss they are part of your humanity for when we see one suffer we ourselves contact suffering without this empathy without this intelligence of the body we would not be motivated to heal ourselves and those around us to be of service to help to offer our love Love can be beautifully peaceful and simple, and it can be extraordinarily active as well. Find within yourselves how you would like to demonstrate love, express love, be of service in love and to love in order to fulfill your time here do whatever it is that is capable whatever it is that you are capable of doing for yourself and others at this time. Our capacities will flow. In very unique ways. In what we each have to offer and when we have to offer it. Relax into this space of knowing that you are safe, and that you are never alone. The Arcturians and many other beings in the universe are at your sides. Supporting you. All of you. Peace. will come forward for you. Stay true to the courage you hold within you. Stay true to your hearts, 